we're at a different setting here. Um, this video is basically my how to use BrickSeek. So for those that always wondered, how do we get these deals either at Walmart or Target or even Home Depot and Lowe's and Macy's and all that? Um, there's a website called BrickSeek.com, okay? I've said it, I think, multiple times now on my videos. So I decided to do like a little how to use it. It's pretty basic, but I'm going to basically show you the tips and tricks and if it's worth it on getting the membership or not. You can use it as a free subscription, but in my opinion, I feel that you get the most out of it when you actually pay for the membership monthly. So without further ado, let's go into it. So for BrickSeek, a lot of people ask me if there's an app. There's no app, unfortunately. So I only use it on either mobile or just a website. So on your search engine, you're just going to go ahead and type up BrickSeek. Um, as you guys can see it here and this is the home page now this is the page that you guys are going to see if you don't pay for the membership or if basically you're logging in for the first time now here person figure thingy shows login or you can sign up for the free in order to use this you don't need to sign in or sign up for it so right over here we have deals inventory checkers, members area, blog, and community. In my opinion, the only three that I stick to using is deals, inventory checkers, and members area. If you're a member and if you're actually paying for the subscription. Premium is, I believe, $9.99 a month, and then extreme is $29.99 a month. Sorry, I can't speak today. Um, so right here, if you don't pay for it, this is going to lock, okay, because it's locked. Now, here at Deals, you can go ahead and click All Trending Deals, and you're not signed in or signed up, okay? Now, mind you, there's a lot of this when you're on the free version of it, so you'll see ads here, ads everywhere. When you pay for the membership, you're not going to see any of the ads, so what I like whenever it's on trending deals is instead of trending I like to go newest so I'll go ahead and go on newest and right here it'll actually tell me here that at Walmart on let's see January 11th at 4 20 p.m. the whatever this is <laughs> um, I know it's for like your TV but it actually went down 40% so now it's 27.13, okay? So you can basically find a lot of items here. So like this here, four count, red seat, 99 corner here. It's gonna tell you if it's an online deal or a in-store deal. Whenever I'm looking for anything online, I like to stick with only on. So as you guys can see here, you can actually change it to only online. Amazon, Target, you have tons of deals. Ooh. And this is always going to, you can always sign up for their free newsletter or whatever. So here, this is an Amazon, an Amazon, it's the Airwick Plug-in Scented Oil Refills Pumpkin Spice. So this one was January 11th, 2020, 12.05 p.m. So it looks like this is today. Go ahead and click on it because let's say I'm interested on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and push or click buy now. When you go to buy now, you're trying to do the lowest price, I just go ahead and click the picture. And as you guys can see, $3. So the website was correct. I can buy it for only $3. Go ahead, or even right here where it says subscribe and save, that's even cheaper, it's only $2.85. Um, that's one way that I use BrickSeek. Then I'm just going back. So online deal to do in-store deals, you can just go ahead and click in-store deals. All the in-store deals that were updated. So it looks like this one it was from January 5th. 
so it's not updated all the way and the reason why it's not updated all the way is because this is the free version of it so this is just the one that you don't the the description that you don't pay for now if i were to click unlock all deals it would tell me to sign in but i'll do that later on in this video now another cool thing is basically go to inventory checkers inventory checkers is like me if you're following me on instagram and i'm posting an item so let's say in walmart i go ahead and let's see if i have anything all right, so let's say I posted a deal. This is a personal deal um, for the Nook pacifiers, right? What I sometimes do is I will put the SKU number of the item. So an easy way, so let's say I don't put in the SKU number for the item. An easy way to find the SKU number is just basically kind of like search for the item on And then you're gonna go ahead and click this up here and you're just gonna go all the way down to the number after oh, sorry I'm trying to concentrate all right so the the number all the way in the back it's sometimes in the middle um but majority of the times it's all the way in the back of the web address i just go ahead and push copy and there. put paste and then zip, you're just gonna go ahead and push the zip code. I'm just gonna allow my computer to pick up my load. And then you're gonna check the inventory. What this part does is basically with the SKU, it's gonna tell you if the store is in stock, if um, it's on clearance. Um, so like here, it's gonna tell you the SKU number, which you already provided the number. You can view it on Walmart. And it's actually gonna show you what store they have it in stock. So whatever it shows that majority of all the stores is out of stock. And then it also tells you the selling. So it's 576 and it's out of stock. If you go back to Walmart, let's see if it's something. Okay. So it looks like the one pack is only $3. I don't know if this is okay. So this is for the three pack. Three pack is, but this is just an example. Okay. Now, majority of the times this isn't accurate. Um, I'd say it's about like 75% of the time is great either that or the Walmart is been going through like some fraud or like some theft issues so their inventory hasn't caught up um, so it just depends on your store so remember when I say that clearance is always a your mileage may vary situation because if I post it doesn't mean that your store will have it guaranteed it just means that later on it go lower so let's say I know some of the gums devices the mini were going on clearance soon so I'm just gonna go ahead and click that I'm gonna do the Google home mini the frozen bundle it was like a frozen bundle back during the holidays all right so on here, SRP tell price is $49. It gives me the SKU number here. The get on Walmart. And then here, it shows that the, the closest store to me is only $15 for it. And there's in stock. So it tells you how many there's in stock. Whenever you go into your stores and you see that it's not in stock and you don't see it on the shelf, um, your best bet is to ask the associate and be like, hey, you know, I'm looking for this item. Where can I find it? Um, can you maybe check the back if there's any? I've scored so many items asking an associate to check the back. Sometimes, you know, some of these stuff, they don't have a proper shelf for them. So they just keep it in the back. Um, so it just depends on if the associate's willing to look or not. Majority of the times, it just depends. So then here, it tells you if it's out of stock. So it just gives you the, the stores of when or which one is in stock or not now on here i like doing this too so you can view the barcode and what i like to do is open up my walmart app and actually click the little barcode symbol where next to the search and then i just go ahead and scan it when i scan it it'll actually tell me like what aisle of the store this item is located or where 
exactly what store or what price it has for my store also if that's a better way for you so inventory checkers are good for um, office depot and all these other stores so for target let's go to target dpci so the dpci is just basically the SKU. i'm just going to go ahead and click the first thing i see or <laughs> maybe not that did not work for an example this here is the as seen on tv right now the way that you're going to look for the dpci is going to be under details and right over here it gives you a ci number i'm just going to go ahead and copy that oops gotcha i'm going to go back to my brick seek somehow there you go paste the number and then we're going to wait this part kind of takes forever okay so from here it shows you this little target website tells me it retails to 129.99 the barcode gives you an option to look on it look at it on target um, so from here it shows that the nearest store to me is in stock 89.99 so that's how you find the dpci for target I'm not sure I know there's a way to look for it too I believe it's on the website um, office depot but it's easy to look for those numbers too so this is everything that you will get in the free service now I'm going to show you the difference on actually paying for the service I'm gonna go ahead and the little person I'm gonna go ahead and sign in Okay, so now I shouldn't see any ads. <laughs> ads were crazy. And now I'm going to go over to the members area. Now for members area, I can view the markdowns by store. I can see today's markdowns, searches, searches. And then they have this new thing now called the Brick Seek Reward. So what I like to do, basically I do this religiously every morning. So I'll go to markdowns by store. And then I already have zip code of where I'm located at. And then I'm gonna just go and click my nearest store. Here, that's sorted by newest. So it's going by the times. So it looks like Tide plus sports active fresh detergent was marked down or to 11.97. I think that's been the price for a while now, but it keeps on popping. Um, shows me also with eggs and then this one I tried to find this for the life of me and I couldn't um, but this is just basically the holiday time spread it got marked down to only 68 cents so this one I'm gonna go ahead and click that whenever you click on an item on Brickseek I've noticed that it takes forever so I think this is why my shopping trips are longer than usual is because the moment that I click on it it takes forever. So here it's gonna tell you retail price is six eighty eight, and then it tells me the nearest store that is near me is in stock, and it has two to three, and it's only sixty eight cents. Now, like I said, I went to my store last night. I could not find those. Next, an associate, an associate said that they ran out of them. So it could be a matter of wrong inventory or like theft. I don't know who's gonna steal a dog bed, but hey, you never know. Also shows other stores that's in stock, um, and all that. So that's a another way to look for things that are in stock. Let's see, so another item that I scored. I actually posted this on my Instagram yesterday. Um, I did find these. So these are only seventy five cents, and it's a two pack. And I bought like four of them, even the pack. Limited stock means that it's a hit or miss. So you're either going to find it or you're not, or you are going to find it. It just depends on the store that you're at. Now, I did. So usually I don't have any luck whenever it says limited stock. I have no luck in finding anything. Um, but I was turning the corner and I found three on the shelf and I was like, oh, oh my God. So I was excited about finding that. And I also found the Dove. I didn't buy it. And also the herbal essence. The herbal essence was 
um, they had a lot in stock. So I only bought two though because I'm trying to buy that. Um, and then it also shows other items here. So I know a lot of people ask me, how do you know when a store goes 90% off this or different holidays? So I know this, let's say, yeah. This was a holiday item, the three pack secret travel um, deodorants. That was a holiday item. So basically what I do, like I said, I do this every morning religiously. Well, that took forever. All right. So this is, as you see here, it was a holiday pack, okay? Price is $9.88. And as you see here, it shows that it's 90% off. So majority of the times, whenever you see an item or just an item in general that was seasonal, it goes down to like 70% off. Majority of the times, all that seasonal are also 70% off or 90% off. So the moment that my store hit 90% off, that's how I knew because of Brick Seek. It actually showed me 90% off. Same thing with Target. Target will also tell you if it's 90% off or 70% off. So how to use the markdowns by store. Then you can go over to markdown to markdowns. Click on that and it'll just show you basically what to keep an eye out on what got marked down today or um, the other day or whatever. Um, so it shows here, there's a lot of these plush throw blankets. Like we searched the uh, Google Home Mini that, a lot of these and marked down. Um, and then also here with the paid membership, it'll also tell you like how long ago did it get marked down. So for an example, this here, the Happy Planners, the value pack stickers, you can go to more and it'll tell you that 10 hours ago it was three dollars but it's limited stock so it's probably not there anymore um same thing with my other stickers all 10 hours ago and then we can go here to the 49 cent um throws here they're only they're 92 percent off so that's a really really good deal and it shows there's a lot, I guess there's a lot of stock in stock in my other stores. So I'll probably check those stores later, but they're only 49 cents. So this is a good tool to use um, if you're looking for stuff that got marked down today or whatever. So these are all today's markdowns. Now, if you go over to pop, pop searches, popular searches is pretty, it's not vague. It's just as very, um, it's kind of, I find it, it's kind of hard to find those items because it's always on the top. So for the people that use BrickSeek, they're constantly looking at this and they most likely bought it all. Like this crib here. So this crib here on the popular searches for about two months now. So here on the popular searches doesn't rotate like it used to, but majority of the stuff now here are like all the stuff that's from like Christmas. So like this here, the Infinity Pro Con Air Hot Air Brush Mobiler. That's a mouthful. It was $69.99. The holiday clearance. So on here it shows that there's none around me in stock except for this store, which I'm not driving all the way over there, but in stock whatsoever. And then another cool feature is if you pay for the services, you can go over and click it and add it to your shopping list. So there you can just click it there so that just in case you forget where section you found this in the website and then you just go ahead and go to your little person here, find your little shopping list here. So then that is popular searches. Um, everything else, like I said, I don't use the bricks awards. It's something new that they've um that they did this year and then extreme members because i pay for this extreme membership um i have i pay the 29.99 a month so i go over to local markdown feed and i always use walmart because i feel like i find the best stuff in walmart so here it'll tell me what stores have kind of what um then what's marked down so this the pj mask i found that the other day it was in my previous two if you guys saw that um, shows here that one store has these as lengths. So it shows this store, um, it dropped 
day at 6 54 p.m so that's like 20 minutes ago <laughs> um and it was 10 now it's 10 cents but limited stock um i don't try to run out of my house whenever i see something that's limited stock though so i mean i'm not saying that it's not worth it but in my i don't really run out of my house um this one shows five stars so here it tells me the time and if it's in stock or in. it's another good one it's only a dollar that's it for the local markdown feed and online markdown feed so i'll show you the items online of what got marked down let's see couple items i don't really do clearing online because it's honestly not worth it but it actually shows you a couple in there and it'll tell you like what time did the price go down or not so yeah this stuff i'm not really interested this is actually this here i found it at my walmart for really really cheap like a lot cheaper than the whole 29.99 that's why i don't really focus on my clearance hunting so another thing that i was going to show you guys was the alerts so what i like to do is have alerts on my own on items um oh and then also for the store, store has different markdowns so that's how it gives you a whole list of stores so you guys can check so let's say i want this men's abominable snowman suit i'm gonna go ahead and click it and like i said this is the part that's forever okay so say like you see how my store has limited stock and there's only um show that there's a lot left there's some over there in that store but i'm not gonna go to that store so i'm gonna go ahead and put local alerts what this does is basically it will give me an alert when either the price or the quantity updates so let's say the store for some reason got another shipment in of these suits or the little onesies or whatever it's going to send me an email as soon as that happens or let's say the price drops again it's going to send me an email and it's going to tell me like what store and um basically how many is in stock or whatever so i know a lot of you guys when you guys saw my or the urbini strollers and you guys hey like how are you getting these alerts that's how i got the alert because i already had this on my computer or on my emails and the moment that i got the alert that the price went down i went over and that's how i got the strollers so this is another good tool that i like to use like i said this is only for the paid membership though so all in all in my opinion i feel like if you pay for the membership you score a lot more um it's totally worth it and i know a lot of people are like okay you know i can't really afford like ten dollars a month right now or the thirty dollars a month i pay the thirty dollars a month and i feel like i save i make my money back especially with me being a reseller and i resell some of my stuff here and there i make my money back plus more and in my opinion i feel it's totally worth it. So that's Brick Seek for you guys. Um, if you guys have any more questions, you know, feel free to DM me um, on Instagram. I mean, I believe you guys can see my email address on the YouTube on the about section um, and you guys can see it there. Alrighty, y'all. So that is it for my Brick Seek how to video. I know I speak with my hands a lot. Sorry. So um, I hope you guys understood it. Um, I try to make it as I kind of dumbed it down. Not that you guys are dumb, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, it's pretty basic. Like I said, I feel that if you pay for the membership, it's really, really worth it. I love it. I was iffy at first about it, but that's how my house looks like a mini Walmart. Um, and like I said, I say this in almost every video only buy what you need and do not overspend because i'm here to save you guys money don't overspend and don't flex for the gram because i know a lot of y'all on instagram like to buy a hundred and two lip glosses and there was no need for a hundred and two lip glosses but yeah 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and tell me or let me know in the comments below if you guys want more videos like this. I just figured out this whole loom recording software thanks to my girl Chris the Maximizer. Um, but I know one of her videos was using this software and I actually love it. So if you guys want more like how to's, I can probably do like a whole reseller how to use eBay. Um, video and all that but yeah so thank you for watching if you're new here don't forget to like and subscribe and then always you guys can follow me on instagram orlando coupon queen and yeah i'll see ya.